Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from whichever location you are watching this video. A very, very warm welcome to Questpons channel. And in this video, we are announcing the ADF training, the Azure Data Factory training by Mr. Gurunath Sir. Guru Sir, a very warm welcome. A very warm welcome to everyone. And yeah. thank you so much, you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. And uh, very quickly, you know, for people who are not aware of Guru Sir, I'm sure that many people are aware of Guru Sir if you are talking about SSIS, SSAS, SSRS, SQL Server, Power BI, Tableau, any data training on QuestPond, right? It happens from Guru Sir. Thank you so much, you sir, for giving me this opportunity. When it comes to teaching the data and the data tools, as a trainer, I am really very excited. So my upcoming course is a complete hands-on practical guide on mastering Azure Data Factory. I personally believe in learning by doing the practicals. In this course also and all other my previous courses, if you guys have attended any one, you must have seen, you know, I focus, I keep my focus more on doing the hands-on practicals and I take very minimum theory wherever it is applicable. So in short, in this course also, you will gain the knowledge of ADF by creating the real world data pipelines. Now let's go and explore the roadmap of this course. So I'm going to start with the Azure fundamentals, then after that we are going to look into ADF. Now you guys must be wondering why we are going to start with ADF first. It's because first we need to understand the complete Azure portal and we need to understand how we can go and create the account in Azure. Then we will understand what are the resource groups, then what is this pay as you go model works, what is OPEX model, what is CAPEX model, how this cloud architecture is divided as per geographic regions, zones, etc. After this, we will go and understand the basic storage types available in the Azure, that is the containers, files, queues, tables. And after that, we go and create the Azure Data Factory where we will orchestrate and automate the complex ETL workflows. So this course is meticulously designed to transform an individual whether he knows the ADF or whether he is completely fresher, fresher in ADF. So this course will transform him, transform you from a basic to a confident ADF professional. Now what we will do, let's go and deep dive into our complete course curriculum where we will see and explore each and every topic which we are going to cover in this course. As you can see over here, we have total 14 days. So it means we are going to cover this course in complete 14 hours. So as you can see on the day one, we are going to cover what is the cloud computing. We will talk about the Azure cloud. We will talk about the OPEX model, CAPEX model. We will go through the complete Azure portal walkthrough. Yes, we are going to cover this in the day one. In the day two, we are going to create a simple virtual machine. We will understand how, what are the resource groups and everything in this day two. We will also talk about the regions, zones and availability zones, etc. On day three, we will focus more on environment setups of, you know, Azure storage accounts, Azure uh, data factory and Azure data lake gen two. Okay. On the day four, we will focus more on data factory setup again, you know, where we will install the SQL, SQL, Azure SQL. Then we will understand the data factory. We will understand an offline ETL tool about SSIS. We, we are going to see on the day four. And in the day five, we will talk about ADF building blocks. That is the pipelines, activities, data set, link set, link services, name sta naming standards, and so on. In the day six, we are going to talk about the validation activity, metadata activity. We will see from that metadata how we can do the condition activity also. So that we are going to cover in the day six. Day seven, again, we are going to do a copy data activity where we, where we will try to transfer one file from the Azure blob to the Azure table, you know, without parameters. So that we are going to cover in the day seven. We will also see, you know, how we can make this activity a dynamism by adding the variables and the parameters so that we are going to cover in the day seven in the day eight we are going we are going to continue with our copy data activity with the triggers and the types of triggers we will also look into the lookup activity and the wait activity on the day nine we will talk about the conditional and the loop activities like if condition filter for each until activity and so on on day 10, we will, we, will, we will be starting with the data flow transformation activity. 
so that is the conditional split you know how we can uh, depending on the condition how to split up the data like for example if the customer is a gold customer so what data to be sent if the customer is a silver customer what data to be sent so that we will understand in the conditional split how to combine the data how to combine the two sources by using the union transformation joint transformation and exist transformation after that in the day 11 we will talk about the aggregate surrogate key lookup transformation pivot and unpivot that is row to columns column to rows and then after that rank rank transformation and in the day 12 we will talk about the derived column windows transformation and filter one on the day 13 we will talk about the monitoring and we will see some example using the slowly changing dimension in the day 14 we will see some more complex example using the copy data activity. Wow, that's a superb uh, course out here, I know, superb outline. But very quickly, one question. What is the prerequisite? Let us say that if I'm completely new to ETL, yes. how does this work? Yes. So there is a prerequisite before learning the ADF. So when we talk about the data and the data transformation, SQL is right there on the top. You should know the basic SQL queries that is select, insert, update, delete, you should know about the joints, inner joint, left joint, right joint, and you should also know, know about the foreign keys and the primary keys. Along with this, if you know any one offline ETL tool, like for example, Oracle Data Integrator, Talent, Informatica, or SSIS, that will be really very great because it will make you ease in learning the Azure Data Factory. And if you don't know also, it's completely fine because in the day four, we will be covering an offline ETL tool that is SSIS with a proper example. So don't worry, I'm there to guide you and to support you. Yeah. And it's a trainer promise. After this 14 hours of this course, you will become a confident ADF professional. So before we conclude, you know, that was an extremely superb outline of the syllabus. I hope that everyone has understood. Very quickly, if you want to download the syllabus, it is there in the comment section. It is also present in the description section out there. You can go ahead, you can download this PDF. You can contact us if you have any queries around it, right? Um, uh, and you know the, this training will be starting from the from the next month right and the dates we are flashing on the screen okay um, and remember that what model we follow of training here like me or any other trainer right is peaceful learning so in other words what we do is that we take the training on let us say saturday and sunday after that we try to give a gap of three four days to the students you know so that they can practice they can ask questions right because if we start doing it every day right i'm sure that many of you people are working and uh, that would not really help you to assimilate you know i feel that a training should get assimilated right so uh, that's it so uh, everything is flashed on the screen we'll be starting on saturday and sunday dates are flashed timings are flashed guru sir thank you so much we are yes, looking forward you, uh, so for this training yes, many people are asking about azure data okay. right dedicated uh, yes. Uh, topics on Azure data and this is the course we are starting. So happy learning. Happy job hunting. Happy job hunting. Thank you. Yes, thank you.